Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm Mama Loves You GB here on FlossTube, but also over on Instagram and Etsy as well. Welcome to the Sunday Morning Briefing. This is number 107 and it is the 5th of March. I just want to say a quick happy birthday to everybody I know whose birthday is the 5th of March. It's one of those days where I know about five or six people that have got birthdays on the 5th of March. Probably who don't watch, <laughs> but if it's your birthday today, happy birthday, happy birthday. I have got lots and lots to share with you again this week. I've got a finish, yay! Uh, quite a big finish as well, I'm pleased to say. Um, got a few other things to share with you. We are so close to 12,000 subscribers, which is mind boggling, but I think I've got about 45 people left to, to get um, to, to 12,000 subscribers. So if you're watching and you don't subscribe, please hit the hit the subscribe button because I really want to do a really big 12,000 subscriber giveaway. So I'm looking forward to that, hopefully next week. Fingers crossed for next week. I've been seeing so much coverage of the National Nashville Needlework Market. Am I jealous? Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes. Oh my goodness, I would go in an absolute heartbeat. Uh, not necessarily as a designer, but just to have a good old shifty round, I would. I'd be in absolute heaven. Seeing all the pictures of people meeting, it's it's absolutely amazing. I can't, oh, so jealous, so jealous. Right, uh, I'm gonna get on and show you what I've been up to this week. Uh, and then I've got some more news. I've got some news of a day retreat um, that's being organized down in Bristol. So I'll tell you about that. Um, some plans, some, oh, freebie as normal and uh, yeah let's get on with that then so my finish dun, 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 dun. I have finished the Noel sampler by Brenda Gervais it's taken me much longer than I than I hoped it would I hoped I would get it finished in January and to be perfectly honest I have just been faffing about with it I had probably 90% of it done at the end of January and then just did not finish the last little bit. I did run out of one colour and it took me three separate goes at ordering it to get the right colour. Uh, I'll tell you a bit about that in a minute. Um, I haven't ironed it, mainly because my ironing board needs a new cover. It's got a couple of marks on it um, and I really want to get a new cover for it. I know I could put a towel down, but I didn't. <laughs> so there is the and get all the border in. Noel sampler. Ah. Have I done this before? There we go. There is the Noel sampler. Now this is a fabulous sampler especially if you're new to stitching samplers because there are so many mistakes in this sampler and you can't tell because you've got three different parts to a border so if you need to lose the odd stitch in a border you can not that that was my problem actually the borders are fine my house however I was stitching it at Christmas when I was on some fairly heavy painkillers for a torn into costa muscle and it's three stitches too too short it should be it should be slightly longer so I had to fuddle this bit over here there's a little bit of ghost stitching I do quite like a little bit of ghost stitching there's my dear, my initials, put the year at the top in pink. I think I like the pink. I'm just waiting to see how it settles. I may pull it out and put a different colour on there, but I think I quite like it. I have done a conversion from Brenda's original colour palette because I just felt it was a little bit too muted for my taste. I just wanted it a little bit brighter. Um, and I have said that I would share the conversion. I've had a few people email me, email me for it and I will email them back, but I will probably put the conversion on the bottom of this video. So it'll be down in the show notes, but there we go. It's a really, really beautiful sampler. Really love stitching it. And like I said, I got most of it done in January and have just faffed about with the last 10% of it. But it's done. It's my first finish in March. I'll do a little 
<clears throat> a little February review um, in a minute. I have started, this was my St. David's Day so, so, uh, start. It's going to be one of those days. This is my St. David's Day start. Let's get the front cover of it. Here it is. I downloaded this from 1884 Stitchery. <laughs> this is the Anne Parry sampler. I'm convinced she's Welsh. Um, the name and the motifs, I think, tell me that she's Welsh, but I can't prove it. I've been trying to find the name of the ship. The name of the ship is on there. Um, so I've been trying to find reference to that, and I can't quite yet quite put my finger on it. Um, but as I said, this was downloaded from 1884 Stitchery. And it has got some beautiful colours. This is a stitch along. It's Anne Parry 1844 SAL. These are the colours. And I am stitching on a piece of dirt track. Is it dirt track? Yeah, dirt track from Fox and Rabbit, which was a previous fabric of the month, but it is being released at Nashville. It's a fabulous colour. And I'm doing 36 count, one strand over two. And this is my little start down in the bottom. So I've started to get the corner of this house in and I've done that sort of motif in the bottom and there's another building up here. She's quite packed in terms of the motifs. So that bottom bit is gonna be quite tight. I did cheat a little bit, I suppose it's not cheating, but I did start in the bottom corner. I don't normally, I normally start in the top left corner, but I just, I've charted a lot of alphabets recently. I've stitched a lot of alphabets recently and I just thought, I just wanna stitch some some housework, I wanna build a house. So I decided to start down in the bottom corner. And so I'm loving that. I'm stitching that in the DMC. It's only charted in DMC. You could very easily do an over dye conversion or a silk conversion if you wanted to. Um, but I am very happy with the DMC. Because the fabric's quite mottled, I don't think I would want an over dye because I think that could all just be a bit too much of a feast for the eyes. So I'm quite happy with a solid, the truck going past, a solid thread. So if you've got that and you want to stitch along, the hashtag is uh, Anne Parry 1844SAL, as I said. Um, love to see how you're getting on, what you choose to stitch her on. Um, she's beautiful, she's absolutely beautiful. I still haven't started my Brenda's birthday sal. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, but I will, it's all kitted up, it's ready to go and that fancy will strike me at some point. The other thing that I've worked on in my little Dalmatian pouch is my month in a mug. So I started on February and I'm doing it on perforated paper because I want to make them into little hanging ornaments. These are by, let me get the right one to show you. It's January. I've got them all folded up because they're going in that little pouch. They are by Fairy Wool in the Wood. You can get on Etsy. She's got lots of charts. And that is what it's going to look like. But obviously I am stitching mine on perforated paper, 14 count perforated paper and I'm doing a sulky conversion. I did move those hearts. I said last week I'd managed to put them in the wrong place. I did move them, so they are where they, they should be. Um, mainly because when I was looking at the design of the other mugs, nothing does touch the month in the ones that I've got so far. And so I thought it would be reasonably obvious if it did. So that's February. I have also bought January. There we go. And the lady who owns and designs um, Fairy Wool in the Wood, Cassandra or Sandy, 
she was super super kind and she sent me as a gift March which is the St Patrick's Day one which I will get on to sooner rather than later and she also sent me one of the Christmas ones this is the 2022 Christmas mug and I love it with that kind of plaid look to it and the gingerbread men and the candy cane and everything I probably will do this one on perforated paper as well I think um, as much as I like all the bits and bobs around the outside on this one um, which aren't really present on these other than just the charm I think I would do that probably as another ornament so thank you so much for that um, that was really really kind of you um, did I say I was doing a sulky conversion I think I did I'm using two strands of sulky to get that nice thick coverage and I'm picking threads that match the the front covers so I'm just going with what what it looks like but it's fairly obvious and I'm keeping it all in this little pouch this is my sort of travel pouch um, I started it last week at Ness's no I didn't start it last week at Ness's Swimming I started a different perforated paper thing at Ness's Swimming which was the um, bear in the canoe which I finished so this is my sort of take it swimming pouch so Ness is now having hour-long swimming lessons so I can get a bit done and what did I get done in this one I was a bit rude well no not rude I was just a bit um, selfish isn't even the right word look folks I had a nap right <laughs> she um, there's like three instructors there's loads of instructors in the pool I've no need to keep an eye on her um, last time she went I sat and watched and I uh, did a bit of stitching at the same time this time I said to her darling I'm really sorry I'm gonna go and sit in the car for a bit and I had a nap. <laughs> like some kind of vagrant in a car park having a nap um, but yeah I did <laughs> and I felt all the better for it let me tell you as well so sometimes you just have to have a nap right let's have a little look at my progress in February that's my uh, page the pink is something I've started the green is something I finished so I had three finishes um, scattered seeds remember me stitching with the housewives Fraser fur farm and the bear canoe from Mill Hill and I started uh, far more than I needed to <laughs> well three of the things I finished I had I'd started so that's not too bad um, and then I've gone for sea creatures in March. Thursday I didn't stitch at all. Um, I did quite a lot of charting. Nothing of which you're going to see for quite some time, probably six months or so. But um, it's a re it was a really good day of charting. So I got lots of design work done and uh, like I say, things that you're not going to see for quite a while, but you will see eventually. I just wanted to give a shout out to a new chart from Wild Cyrus Maps. This is Martha Martin, 1831. Look at her. Isn't she absolutely amazing? Isn't she amazing? Christina asked me to test print the chart for her, which, which obviously means I'm going to stitch it. I don't know if I'm going to stitch all of it actually. I think I might pinch a few little motifs from this one. Um, she's so beautiful, so beautiful. There we go. Um, so well done, Christina. That is that is a a feat. It is a feat. She's beautiful. And she's available from Whilst Iris Naps Design uh, Whilst Iris Naps dot com. I'll obviously link it down below. And Christina does have her own floss tube. Um, so if you keep an eye out for that, go and subscribe to her. She always shows all her releases and tells you more about the girls, if she knows them or what she suspects she knows. So that is amazing. Christina is also going to provide us with our freebie. I forgot to reach it down, so I'm just going to reach it down. So 
I did have somebody comment, I can't remember if it was last video or the video before, um, as to what was sat up there, which I now have in my hand. Um, and this is a free design from Wild Iris Snaps from Christina from it wasn't last year, it's probably the year before. And again, it didn't look like this quite. Um, but I took the three bunnies, I think there was three bunnies and the border was a design. And then there was a design that says Happy Easter. And then there was a design which had carrots on it. So I took the bunnies and I turned them into a sort of a flat-ish fold. Let's not look too closely at the sides. Uh, made one of the little carrots and I put it into the top of this watering can. It has got a bit of blackboard on the other side, but I ignored that. Um, and I, when I put it onto this, so I used the same technique as you would if you were putting it onto some mount board. So I folded the edges over, sort of pulled it tight. Um, I think I glued this one. But instead of using mount board, what I used was, um, you know, if you get like a really nice Easter egg, let's stick with Easter egg. If you get a really nice Easter egg, it comes in like a clear plastic box. Um, it's got quite a lot of um, structure to it. It's, quite, it's not really flimsy. I used something like that to wrap it around because I wanted to, it to be A, not too thick, and be bendable. So I'm pretty sure that there's a clear plastic, um, yeah, from like an Easter egg box or, or something like that underneath there. And then just on a bit of felt, and then I probably hot glue gunned it like mad. Because hot glue is probably about the only thing that would stick properly to this. Um, and then I've got some little pins at the top there. They are pun. That one's a Puntini Puntini pin, the little rabbit, and these are Jabco pins. And look at that, if I looked more closely, it says 2021 on it. So it wasn't last year, it was the year before. So that is the freebie, which is good because my printer has decided that it's run out of ink. Alexa thought she was going to take control of the printer as well. She is taking over. She is taking over. So we have HP, the instant ink, just appears at the door, which is marvellous. I've always got ink. But now Alexa thinks that she wants me to order ink from her. Now she's offering me no discounts, but she's trying to take over. If she would actually go to the shop and buy all the shopping for me, then I'd let her do it. But at the moment, she's getting a little bit pushy. Getting a little bit pushy. We have swapped our outside light for an Alexa bulb light. Came home the other day, he's got it on red. It's one of those colour changing bulbs. He's got it on red. We're lucky we didn't have like a whole queue outside. Right, what else have I got? Hi, it's me again. I'm just gonna make a little interlude here because two weeks run in, I need to do this. Um, Jen from Wolf Down the Rabbit Hole has released a little free chart. It's very, very cute. It says cariad on it, which is the Welsh word for love. Um, it, it's just a beautiful word. You hear the Welsh speak it and call one another cariad. It's also quite a popular name and it, it just sounds so lovely. So Jen has stitched this very small chart. It would take not very long to stitch. It would make a great gift. It'd look, look great in a dough bowl. I'm going to put a picture of it up here because as I said, my printer has died. Well, I might not have said that yet, but it has. Um, I'm going to put a picture of it here and then I'm going to link you down to her buy me a coffee which is where the freebie is you can access it through that okay cheerio <laughs> I have got some fabrics to show you I've got the fox and rabbit fab fabrics of the month I'm going to share those right at the very end because I haven't posted them out yet I've missed the post office twice this week just by minutes I've missed them twice um, so yeah, apologies for that. I have had it for a couple of days longer than I normally would. Um, I normally like to get it in the post really quickly, but like I say, I've just missed them twice this week. So it's going on Monday. Um, I'm just insulting the list as well. Um, that reminds me. I have heard back from all of the winners of the Crow's Feet stitching pattern, except for one, Isabel GT. I haven't heard back from you. Now you won one of the two full 
um, charts from the samplers and I packed away all my printouts. If you go back two videos, okay, you will see your name and you will be able to then contact me there. So go back a couple of videos. I'll put your um, screenshot of your comment up there, but you need to go back two videos to find out what you won and then to um, contact me. That'd be great. Thank you. I just like to tie things up. I like to tie things up. Right, what else? Let's get on to some purchases then. Some purchases. I found on eBay, and I will put their name down below, the seller's name, um, a good source for some perforated paper and some Mill Hill beads. I got some, what the colour is that? Oh, it doesn't say the name of it on there. Dark green, lighter green, and white. That is for some design work that I have done. I now need to make the models for. And I also got one of their, another one of their Jim Shaws that I haven't got. Really, really quick service have loads of perforated papers, Mill Hill beads, that sort of thing. So I'll put the name down below. Um, the reason, well, part of the reason I looked on eBay was because a lot of my peeps, a lot of my sellers are in Nashville Needlework Market, so they're not here to send stuff to me quickly. So I did have to look on eBay and I found a great little seller, so I'll post their information down below. I also had a little delivery from Mary at um, Create Nostalgia. Now between us, given this was a two item order, between us, <laughs> we managed to mess it right up. The first thing that I wanted was some 613. Now this is the thread that I needed to finish the Noel sampler, which I've ordered three times, not from Create Nostalgia. The first time I ordered it, I got the number wrong. I put 612 and so it came and it was too dark. The second place I tried to order it from, by the time they came to pack my order it was out of stock. And this time, bless her, Mary, sent me that. <laughs> and that's number 13. And so I messaged her and I said, Mary, um, can you check again? She's like, oh, I'm really sorry, I need to get new glasses. So this is cursed. This, this is cursed. So she very, very kindly <clears throat> put me one in the post great like that great customer service and then the other thing that I ordered was a Stony Creek cross stitch magazine and then I put the wrong one in my basket and luckily just as my order was confirming I saw it and so I messaged Mary and said I put the wrong one in the basket I wanted this one and so she was brilliant and she swapped it over for me so between us <laughs> mostly my fault I have to say I uh we managed to get it get it uh to what we wanted or to what I wanted and this is the magazine that I wanted this is Stony Creek uh, 2018 I think it is have I got my finger over it 2018 summer 2018 there we go I have always wanted to do this stocking I love this stocking with the lighthouse and the um, the cardinals I just love it there are some other great things. I must admit, when I ordered it, I didn't actually know what else was in this magazine. But there's several in here that are really cool. I like this one, the little truck. I like this one. I like this one. Um, I do quite like that Noel one down there as well. I'm not necessarily all in for Stony Creek. Um, just because there's sometimes a bit too much backstitch on them for me. Um, but there's several in there that I like, so I was really chuffed. I was I was wanting this chart anyway, and the whole magazine was 850, so I thought, would I pay 850 just for that chart? Yes, because I've wanted it for ages. Um, so even if there was nothing else in the magazine that I liked, I would have been happy. But there's some great, great things in there. When I stitch this, I think what I'll probably try and do is not do quite so much of the black back stitching. I might try and define it a little bit more with some of the just the sort of darker versions of the same colour so it's not quite so back stitch heavy but it still looks as brilliant as it does. So there's that. 
I did get another fabric of the month, which actually came last week and I forgot to pick it up. This is from Crafty Kate, who I get a fat eighth of 32 count from. Now I haven't even opened this one because I can see from the front that it was fabulous, but it's got, it'll have so much glare on it, it won't help you. So 32 count linen. the clip off of it and that is where we are it's actually probably a lighter version of dirt track is what it looks like so that's dirt track from fox and rabbit and then this was the fabric of the month from kate so it's it's just a sort of shade lighter um, but the same sort of great mottling. So there's that. I also, we went to Carmarthen today. I took Ness for a sort of girly afternoon, went and did a bit of shopping, went and had some lunch, went and went to the cinema to see Puss in Boots, which was really good. <laughs> it was really good, although it's probably 15 minutes sort of reasonably early on. I'm not entirely sure what happened. I might have had a nap then as well. <laughs> I'm, I maybe I'm getting narcolepsy. Just keep falling asleep all the time. Um, so anyway, in Carmarthen, there is one of those tiger shops. Uh, from I think they're um, from Copenhagen, and um, it's one of those shops that you don't know what you need until you go in. So we went in because Nestle was like the little bits and bobs there. And it's not badly priced actually in there, and I picked up a frog little bag a stitchy bag I like their bags so I thought that was great a little frog bag and I couldn't resist as well they had their Easter ornaments in and this little guy was let me just move the tag out of the way was one of their Easter ornaments come on turn back around a little a little froggy so um I should definitely put him out at Easter, but I think I need to keep him somewhere out all the time so as not to um, attract any real frogs, to frighten off any real frogs that might come and knock in. So my last bit of haul is the fox and rabbit fabrics, but I'm going to leave those right to the very end. Before we do that, I just want to tell you about this one day stitch retreat that's taking place in Bristol on the 10th of um, June this year. But I just need to get the information from my email. Two seconds. There we go, I've got the information. I knew there was something else I meant to write down. So it's on the 10th of June, Saturday the 10th of June at the Engineers House in Bristol, which looks a fabulous venue. Um, it's gonna be run by the Not Cross Stitcher, who is Sue. Um, the cost of the day, so it's just a day retreat from nine until five, um, the cost of the day is £30 and that includes tea, coffee um, and lunch, which is amazing. <laughs> I think I think that's a great deal. So um, I'm going to be there. Patrick Rabbit is also going to be there, I believe. Um, so there will be a little sort of shopping experience as well. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to put her email information down below. So if you're interested in doing that and you want to go to, along to that on the 30th, you no. Know, on the 10th of June for £30 then um, that is you get in touch with her and she'll send you all the details I'm not sure how many places there are it looks a reasonably large room but yeah if you fancy that then um, get in touch with her and I'll see you there right let's have a look at these patchwork rabbit um, fabrics if you do not want to see these then I will say cheerio to you now but if you're happy to see them um, knowing that yours are on the way then I will show you them so the first one is the neutrals club and this one is called uh, flooded flooded gum so it is another beautiful beautiful mottled creamy linen it almost looks like it has a, almost a very slight pinky tone to it in certain lights 
and in other lights it looks more of a grey tone but either way it is another fabulous fabulous one from the patchwork rabbit fabric of the month and then i'm so lucky karen bren sent me this one as well this is called cyclone sky look at that isn't that amazing i love that love 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 that and i do have an idea of what i would want to stitch on that already so if you have stuck with me this long Thank you very much and I will see you again next week. Stay classy, Stitches.